so I'm going to attempt to do a scroll um, for you start to finish so you can see what my process is. I'm starting with a blank sheet of Bristol, um, this is a vellum surface Bristol. It is 9 by 12, which is a nice size for scrolls. I'm using Bristol because it's something that for new scribes is readily available at their craft stores um, in the art supplies aisle. Before I do anything with this, I want to put a, um, a border around it so I have some space. So if the person wants to get it framed um, or matted and framed, the drawing does not go right up to the edge of the frame, doesn't get lost inside the frame. There's just always a little bit of a lip when you frame something um, that gets covered. So um, a good border to do is an inch. It's nice and easy. And I've gotten into the habit of, I used to mark all around it and then use my the same ruler I did my measuring with to draw my lines. And I've gotten out of the habit of that because I found something way better. Um, so let me get my lines marked. I just need to do a set for each side. And like I said, normally I would do it on the top and the bottom. So I'm going to do it on the bottom. I have to do this one on the top though. Sorry. <laughs> okay, but now normally I would do eight marks so that I could do this all, but I use, instead of this ruler, I'm going to use um, my T-square to make these lines. So I'm just going to put it at the edge of the paper, line it up with the one mark I made, and shwoop! That's all she wrote. I'll do that four times. I really didn't need two marks down here. I was silly. Just needed one. And voila! All of my lines are drawn from my border. So now I know all my scroll stuff is going to be on the inside of this. And I've got this edge so that the recipient can have some space when they frame it or mat it and frame it. Okay, so now that I've got my border in, I'm going to take a look at what the source I'm going to use. This is Folio 24V from Yates Thompson 13, which is the Tamoth Hours. Um, I always like to print off a big copy of it so that way I have it handy. Um, I always have my computer open, you know, you can't see it, it's a frame <laughs> to the side, so I can zoom in for some details if I need to really look and see what's going on, um, especially since I have on my printer it cut off um, this, this side of it. Um, but I always like to have a big printout of it just so I don't have to always be turning. Um, I really like Yates Thompson 13. Um, it's got some, sorry, my printer's making fun noises. Um, it's got some fun, um, easy, pretty, you know, gothic stuff to do. Um, this page in particular is really great for a blank, which is what I'm going to do today, because the initial is up in this corner. It's nice and big. It's a D, which is, um, a great initial for writing scroll texts. Um, it's one that's a lot easier for <laughs> heralds and other scribey people to come up with, with words to say or to write. Um. I'm not going to worry about these smaller initials. Um, I might, if I were actually using this to do um, an assignment, I would, because you know I'd want to plan that out. Um, but I'm not going to worry about it for this. If you know the scribe who gets this to use as a blank wants to put those in, great. Um, if not, no big deal. The same thing with the little uh, fillers for the ends of the lines. It's not going to be a bad thing if those are, are gone from the the finished scroll. Um, and this might be a blank that I just hang on to so that, you know, if I get an assignment that Yates works for as far as persona or whatever, um, then I can I can add that in. I'm also going to note the illustration down here, um, which is technically kind of marginalia. It's a uh, bot de page um, to say it in the you know the actual French pronunciation um, and that just means that it's at the bottom of the page um, if I were doing this again for an assignment I would plan out okay I'm gonna depict maybe they're getting a service for you know cooking feast you know I would do a drawing of them as best I could as far as you know their garb and whatnot um, doing doing that thing um, or whatever art that they do or maybe they fight you know and have them fighting um, so and you know look at I don't have to to pull from you know this straight marginalia to find something that has that exact marginalia I can pick and choose pieces um, 
if I find, uh, there's a page actually from Tamoth of Guy to War of Warwick fighting, so I could, you know, use that sort of stance, and I know it would fit um, stylistically with a different page because it's from the same source. Okay.